Drunk girlfriend prank on boyfriend. Insane throw prank on boyfriend. Pissing all over my girlfriend prank. Gone wrong. Selling my girlfriend's dog prank. OMG, the bitch is pissed. Crazy slime prank on girlfriend. Sexually harassing my girlfriend for views. God sexual. Ending the world as a prank. OMG, my girlfriend was upset for some reason. Surprising my girlfriend with a puppy. Then I fucking killed it. Blah, blah, blah. Do you guys remember a time when YouTube prank videos were actually real? Because I don't. Yes, for all the 18-week fetuses out there who didn't know these videos were actually fake, I'm sorry to crush your dreams. Yes, these videos are notorious for being faker than the moon landing, but um, they don't seem to go away. But then again, these videos do give me content to make, because I'm a leech with no creativity, so I have to bank off other YouTubers. And joining me today are two other leeches, otherwise known as Ethan and Ela. That's right, you're getting a Leafius here in H3H3 collab today. So be fucking happy. Hey, Diesel. Yo, Diesel, thanks for putting us in your videos, um... For those of you who don't know, Book of Ken are this couple channel who do really, really high quality pranks. And we're joining forces with Diesel Patches to really, really delve into Book of Ken. If Diesel Patches hasn't already ripped you a new one, he's about to. We made a video about them a little while back. Everybody seemed to love our criticisms on Book of Ken. Haters. I really don't like you guys. I think Book of Ken is awesome. Plus you're cringy too. What the heck? That's not real. Are they talking about how Book of Ken's video is not real? I don't, I don't know. know. As you can see, they have a very strong fan base. If we get 15,000 likes... Carly sums it up pretty well. We make the best content on YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you are the best, you need to tell everyone that you're the best. And, you know, don't strive to improve. So, should we start with, he dyed my skin blue? Yeah, let's do it. Today I'll be pranking my boyfriend Ken by making him think that he dyed my skin blue with this bath bomb that he gave me the other day. I like that she's doing this intro in her bath towel, bent over. That's a really good look. I'm gonna be painting my whole body blue. And that's how YouTube works these days. Exploit your girlfriend in order to get views. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just here for show, guys. She's I... not funny. So if you're ready, smash the like button. Let's hit 15,000 likes and the prank wars is back on. Comment down below, I'm blue. Da -da -dee -da -da -da. <clears throat> While watching this video, you'll probably take notice that the girlfriend is very quirky fun, and most importantly, relatable. Why the fuck are you laughing? What's so funny about that? Haha, <laughs> I wrote the word hi on myself. I'm such a prankster. Also, I gotta ask, what's with the oof sound effect? Nothing you did warrants you to make that sound effect. I mean, all you did was slap your fucking titty, so I don't see why you had to put that sound effect in. Love you, honey. Oh, whoops, Carly's going crazy. <laughs> oh, God. I guess if you're not funny or entertaining, just slap some ass cheeks around. Actually, hold up a second. Can I have views now? Who the fuck edited this video? I swear, either the edits don't make any sense at all, or it's just super cringy. What's really sad though is that I don't know if it's actually a random joke or just a joke that fell really flat. Either this joke was just poorly attempted to get a random laugh out of someone, or they try to connect it to what she was doing, which was calling herself ugly, and then someone laughs at her. I don't know, do you guys do that? You just see an ugly person and start pointing and laugh? Is that a joke now? Haha, <laughs> stupid ugly people, am I right guys? I also like that uh, she's obviously had a bath. Obviously that's all been fine. Uh -huh. She's got out the bath. She's put a bikini on because uh -huh. no one baths in a bikini. She's managed to dry herself. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, my skin's blue. Oh shit. There's so many things wrong with this. There's so many things that are just completely unbelievable about this. Do you guys remember that scene in Schindler's List where Liam Neeson is crying his heart out about saving just one more life? Or what about Godfather 2 when Al Pacino is confronting his family member after knowing he betrayed him? Fuck that gay shit, this is real acting. Oh my god! This, I, I've done a bit of acting in my time. This is how you uh, indicate shock. Oh my god! Oh my god! He comes in like this. Oh my god, what happened? Acting. I felt that one. I actually did. Across the board, every single video, you'll hear 
Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? What happened? Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god! What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, I know what happened. You made a channel that's all around pranking, and somehow you don't realize when you're being pranked. Have a look around the fucking room for a camera, bro. Kind of strange that every time the same person gets pranked, they never question the odd or weird event that's taking place and believe it's 100% real. And that's exactly why these prank war channels never work for me because I can never suspend my disbelief that whenever someone gets pranked for the millionth time, they never question what's happening in the first place. Even though pranks are a daily occurrence for them, they never question it, they don't care. So using my, um, <laughs> elaborate detective skills, I have concluded that these videos are fake. Either that or these women are, uh, stupid as fuck. It's not hard, you've got 1.7 million subs. You'd be like, Go do some improv classes. You'd be like, is it permanent? Does it come off? Like how long, did you not notice in the bath? Oh my God, what happened? You gave me the bath bath? Remember, if in doubt, and you feel like shot, go to the temples. No, what happened? I'm so confused. I, he How tried many to say it again. He was like, what happened? What happened? No, no, he no, tried. new line, new line. I am blue. What I don't understand about these two is if they love pranks so much, just do the fucking prank. Just do the prank. Like you could actually prank each other. Yeah. But really, you know that your viewers accept your subpar content. So you, you keep forking it out. A dollar? Not to be mean or anything, but uh, her voice makes me want to shoot people with a Nerf gun. But I think there's something we all need to realize, that loud equals funny can actually be funny. It's not just a sarcastic comment I throw around. It can actually be funny sometimes. Take this video for example. What can I say except you're welcome to hide the sun in the sky? Hey, it's okay, it's okay. No. I think it's all about context. Like, I can just imagine a little kid by his mic just screaming every word of that song. But in this prank video, it's just, oh, I'm a blueberry. <laughs> Comedic genius. None of them have tried to get it off. None of them have tried to Google what to do. I mean, no one's even questioned why her face is covered in it. There's so many holes in it that I am getting trypophobia. <laughs> So the girlfriend has an epileptic seizure, and then we see a green screen at the end. They're using that fucking color for a reason, I'm just saying. They think this is like quality meme shit or something like that. The sad part is, I'm actually a little tempted to add something. Cocksucker, honestly, I want to shove my cock in your ear and let it come out of your fucking belly button, you fucking cunt. Don't forget guys, smash the like button, 15,000 likes if you want me to keep the prank wars going. This is like quite stereotypical of their content. They'll do this prank and then they'll just go around in circles speaking the same stuff. Like, At the end they'll be like, click that like button and I'll, I'll smash fucking Carly back right in the face. This gets 15,000 likes. I'm gonna do the same thing, but worse. Don't forget guys, smash the like button. 15,000 likes if you want me to keep the prank wars. I don't know, it just didn't seem like that much of a prank on him. Cause it's like, well, he walks away and she's the one that's blue and got Wash it off. You don't answer me, I'm gonna fart on you. Let's see, that was uh 3.6 seconds. Alright. So uh not even five seconds in, and I already know it's worse than the last video. We're gonna have to endure another video. I just came out of the shower, get a towel, I'm wet. You're gonna miss the surprise. <laughs> Ugh, what the fuck? This is just more proof that emojis are the most cringeworthy thing in the world. Like, it's fine when you text with these things, but when I see them in a YouTube thumbnail, then it becomes a problem. These things just scream, haha, we're relatable, like and subscribe. Fuck emojis. And I have the perfect thing in mind. I'm gonna ignore her for 24 hours. Out of all the prank- Who is the editor? Because every time I see a visual edit, or I hear a sound effect from these videos, my nuts start shriveling up. You know why? It's because every edit in these type of videos are just really dated. I'm legit getting the same experience watching these videos as I did viewing that infamous Black Panther scene. The real question is, what are those? And I just want to say this now. I have nothing against Ken or Carly, but I hate their content. I think their content is wank. You can have all the lighting, you can have the best mic, you can have the best fucking camera, but if you just shit, you can still get 1.7 million subscribers. <laughs> uh. Ben, seriously, I'm hungry. Are you not hungry? Yes, I'm very hungry. 
LOL. All right, I'm done. I'm done talking about the edits because I already have stage three cancer, so I don't want stage four. Can you even hear me? What is so interesting about watching somebody ignore someone else for 24 hours? I mean, luckily it's just for 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Jeez. You don't answer me, I'm gonna fart on you. <laughs> Best content on YouTube. Is that a fake fart sound? That fart sound was faker than the moon landing. Best content on YouTube. From that, you can tell how close that camera is. Like, you can tell that it's right there, right on the fucking table. Okay, so his camera was was there. <laughs> just next to the PC. You're gonna miss the surprise. That's a well-framed shot, isn't it? Very well framed. She's standing in the exact right place, isn't she? Oh wow, I didn't see that coming. I I sure got clickbaited. See, I understand why you 12 year olds are even mad that there was no nudity in the video. Just go on Pornhub like a regular person. Hello? Penny? Why has she got a hand over her eyes? Why? It doesn't make any sense. I just don't get it. We're going down a rabbit hole. It's just stupid. It's stupid. Everyone knows it's fake. Apart from all these hundreds of thousands of kids. It's fake. If you don't know that, you're a moron. And Father Christmas isn't real. Righteous. Neither's the Tooth Fairy. Fuck off. Oh, God! I ate an eggplant for you. I'm just trying to make you laugh. Answer me something, please. Wait, hold up. You ate an eggplant in front of him to make him laugh. Why would anyone laugh about someone else eating an eggplant? You fuck nut. Smash the like button right now. Smash the like button. Fucking punch the like button. Smash it with your fucking dick. Give it give it a good smashy. Oh god, I got way too over the top of that. Oh, and to any of the ten year olds who are about to leave a comment and saying how say how We're dying haters. We're dying haters. We are. Yeah, we are. You wanna see the outro? <laughs> Deuces! Pop. So they took out the green screen outro and replaced it with just a black screen. Yeah, that's not really much of an outro, is it? Unless you like shitty techno music, I guess. Thank you, Diesel Patches, for asking us to collab on this video with you. I mean, they do numb your brain after a while. Uh, also, to uh, any of Diesel Patches' subscribers, if you want to go check out Book of Ken, I cannot dissuade you enough.